Welcome to Earlville Library District's Winter 2022 Craft Bags for Adults, Week 3. For our final week of winter crafting, Miranda has prepared a vase filler Christmas tree. She'll take you step by step through the process. If you haven't yet picked up your craft bag, give us a call to see if you can still reserve one. Remember, craft bags are only held until the end of the month, so claim them while you can. Even without one of our craft bags, these materials are pretty easy to come by if you'd like to try making this one on your own. Let's get started. Here are the supplies you'll find in your craft bag. You can use this as your shopping list if you're making this one on your own. Also, if you don't have a hot glue gun at home, the library has some you can borrow for free. Ask any librarian and they'll get you set up. The first task is to lay your newspaper down, grab your paintbrush, green paint, and styrofoam cone, and paint your cone green. Miranda says the best practice here is to dab your paintbrush into the styrofoam instead of dragging the brush on top of it. This will help sink the paint into all of the nooks and crannies. Set your cone aside, and when it's dry, you can move on to the next step. Use the paper plate to hold your vase filler so they don't roll around and start hot gluing them onto your styrofoam cone. Starting with the base of the cone, glue on one row in one color of the biggest size. Make sure not to glue your first row so low that it keeps your cone from standing on its base. Give each ball a moment to set with the glue before moving on. For your next row, continue using the larger size but switch colors. Choose a starting point for your row that will be your starting point for every row. This will be the back of your project in case a row ends up with a gap between the last two balls. Hot glue the next rows the same as the first. Continue gluing rows of large vase filler on your tree until you start reaching the top. Then you can switch to the smaller size to help encourage the tapered look of the tree. Miranda did six rows of large vase filler before switching to the smaller size. Then for the final round at the top of the tree, she used the very smallest size. Don't glue any vase filler to the very top of the tree. That's where you'll hot glue your star. Once your tree is covered in vase filler, you are ready to add the garland. Starting at the point you've decided is the back of your tree, start at the top and hot glue one end of the bead strand. Working in a downwards spiral motion around the tree, glue your garland into place. You don't need to glue every bead, just add the glue wherever you would like the garland to drape. Continue until you run out of garland. For more garland, Miranda uses a pipe cleaner that she gets started at the back of the tree where she started the bead garland. Hot glue your pipe cleaner to that point and wrap around the tree just beneath the bead garland. Be patient and let that first point of hot glue on the pipe cleaner really dry before moving on. It needs to be really secure or it will come apart as you twist. Halfway down, you'll need to attach your second pipe cleaner to make it all the way to the bottom of the tree. Use some hot glue like before, and make sure everything is nice and secure before wrapping the rest of the way. Add another dab of hot glue at the very end to finish it off. We hope you enjoyed our last week of December crafting for 2022. Stay tuned for more crafts to come in the new year. Check out our website, EarlvilleLibrary.org, to stay updated with all of our other program offerings. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.